Hello guys and welcome back. In the last section, we saw uh, about creating a uh, creating a decorator, a custom one, okay, uh, that could basically set some property on a class that it sits on, okay. So in now in this section, what we are going to do is we are going to create a logger for hooks in Angular's components life cycles, okay. So what our main motive would be is that we should see logs for certain life cycles of a particular component in uh, in here okay so without us having to define uh, each and every life cycle hook for that component okay so our aim would be something to let's say use this logger or this hook logger uh, decorator in let's say a component parent wherein <clears throat> if i do something like hook logger okay it should uh, essentially log um, some output for each and every life cycle hook that we have on this um, component okay so this is how I, sh I would be able to use it. Now I can also pass it some data like the hooks, which would essentially be an array in which I can type in the name of the lifecycle hooks that I want um, it to implement like so. Okay, so ng on changes, something like that. Okay, so let's first create the decorator. Okay, I'll uh, in the class decorator itself, I'm going to export. Uh, I'll get rid of this import. I don't really need it. Now in here, I'll name this as hook logger. And just like the above function that we defined, this will also receive a configuration object. But this time the configuration option is going to be a configuration object is going to be optional so that we could use it this way as well let's just import this so that we don't get any errors i'll have to save this one unable to resolve signature okay because i'll have to return a function from here that would accept a target like so okay so now my intention is to use it this way as well so that uh, this decorator could uh, essentially log for all the lifecycle hooks that are present on that component while I could also pass it some hooks like so ng on changes and say ng on init okay and it should log uh, for these two life for just these two life cycle hooks okay so now to do that let's write some code here so i'll first create a constant with the name of this component component name okay this would be um, target dot name there should be a property named name on this target okay and this would be the name of this component okay and now let's also create some default hooks okay and this is going to be an array of strings this is of type string array now we'll have lifecycle hooks like ng on changes ng on init ng do check ng after content init ng after content checked 
and then this would be after view in it and view checked and then finally we would have ng on destroy like so okay now the let's say the hooks to be logged would either be configuration dot hooks now if this is empty because it might be empty in cases when we don't really want to do something like this and just use it use the decorator like this then in that case we should be able to use it as well so if uh, no hooks are coming from the configuration then i want to use the default hooks so the value of this is going to be default hooks in that case okay now for each hook i'll call a for each method now this would be hook to be logged okay and with this um we'll create a constant which is the original function itself okay and that would be a uh, target dot prototype dot or the prototype of hook to be logged okay this is going to be our origin or original okay now what we are going to do is we are going to just change the original implementation of that function so i'll assign a new function to this and this might receive an argument or multiple arguments for that sake like so okay so now in this one i'll just log to the console the name of this component that i have i'll be using back text so component name is going to be this one right here okay the hook name is going to be hook to be logged right here okay and now if there is any argument then it should be logged simply like so all right now after this all i'm going to do is if original is present and if that does then i'm going to call or i'm going to apply these changes on it with the args that i received all right so we almost have the hook ready with me so let's test it out in action i'll just this for now and save it like so let's go back and see so it says that hooks of undefined class decorator okay so let's check if configuration itself is not defined then we should first check for if configuration exists and then we'll check for this so something like that let's go back 
all right so if i go to the console um the default hooks are these and the hooks that we have are the these that is empty so in that case we should have had some login done here but we aren't seeing any logs it seems all right let's go to this function here and see what's going on so the target dot name is the parent component and uh, let's go here so we have these oh so my bad this shouldn't be hooks dot log hooks to be logged this should be hook dot log hey hook to be logged sorry uh, all right my bad let's get rid of this and this and check if it is working now let's just reload and if you see then we have all these uh, hooks that were actually present on this component logged okay so ng on changes wasn't logged because this uh, parent component don't really have an input property defined on it so ng on changes generally runs whenever there is a change in the input properties of a particular component but since they it since the parent component doesn't have uh, any input properties that wasn't actually a lifecycle hook that was defined on it but ng on in it was defined ng do check was defined after content in it after content checked after view in it and after view checked all of them were defined in that case so if i go to let's say users then we should see that ng on destroy would also would also be um it would also be logged okay let's now test this out with just two hooks that we have ng on changes and ng on init now ng on changes won't be called so let's just get rid of this and let's just print it for ng on init for now okay so once this runs i'm on the users if i go to parents then just the ng on init would be logged if i did something like uh, for ng after view in it as well so it would now be logged two times one for ng on in it and one for ng after view in it let's also see this if this runs for um if this runs for the user details component because this is a component wherein we okay we don't have an input property in here but on the user component we do have an input property so if i decorate this component right here and save it let's clear this out in the user section if i go then it's going to print the on changes lifecycle hooks logs as well and this will get a user object that is of that is of type simple users or simple change and this would be the current value and the previous value and uh, whether it is a first change or not okay so it's going to do that 10 times because we have like 10 user objects in here okay and uh, just to show it's doing that for 10 times if i go away then all these all these uh, user elements are going to be destroyed by angular so we should see the ng on destroy log getting printed 10 times so if i go to parent you should see that 10 times it printed component name user component and hook name ng on destroy okay so 
I guess this was it regarding the regarding a class decorator, a custom one where, that we built that we built. And uh, now this is this is just an example of a lifecycle hook that you can build. Uh, but we can do some other things of that sort. So I guess now you guys should be able to create custom decorators and with just some basic knowledge of JavaScript, you can essentially do anything in here. Okay, sky is the limit. So I hope you guys uh, achieve it. Um, in the next video, we'll quickly see uh, how we can create a how we can create a property decorator and uh, how it can be used so i'll see you guys in the next video bye